Shuda and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to show you how to make this beautiful clutch from the cover of a book. The happy news is you don't have to do any sewing to make this clutch. So guys, let's get started. You will need the outer thick cover of a book with the size of the clutch you are going to make. Next you can use a fabric of your choice to cover this thing. As you can see I have taken a fabric with a golden tint here. I thought it's simple and elegant so I'm going to go with this one. Actually I cut this from an old top I had. Cover the book with the fabric. To stick this one I'm going to use fabric glue. It's very easy to use this. You can use hot glue as well. Apply glue on one side of the book. Spread it a little bit with your finger. Fold the fabric and press it to stick it well. Now repeat the same for the other three sides as well. After sticking the outer surface, I am going to use a white fabric to stick the inside of the book. To cover the sides, cut two trapezoidal pieces like this with height same as that of the clutch and 12 cm wide on the bottom and 5 cm wide on the top. Sticking these pieces is a little tricky. What I did was I first glued the sides then folded the bottom inside and glued it as well. Before you stick the second side, put pins like this. You can remove it once the glue is completely set or just leave it as such. This is how it looks after attaching both pieces. For the front flap, I cut a piece like this from my same top. Now fold the sides like this and stick them with glue. Next, attach the flap to the clutch like this. To close the clutch, I am going to use velcro. You can use any type of closure you want. Stick the velcro on the flap, close it and mark the position of the second piece and stick it as well. Ta-da! With that, our clutch is ready to use. In this way, you can make clutch matching any of your outfit. As an Indian, I think this clutch is a perfect match for all my traditional outfits. If you like these ideas, please give this video a big thumbs up and also leave your comments in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also tell me your suggestions for my future videos.